Okay. Okay, welcome, welcome to I um, another episode of the Push to Dream podcast. And now today we have another beautiful guest and she's going to talk about her business and um, her business and she's going to tell you all about her her business and how she has established it. And her name is Gogi Pad- Padella, right? Padella. But, well, but the- okay. Padilla, Padilla. Okay, yes. that's the yeah. All right, yes. Yeah. So we are going. To, her business is called Answer Sure, and she's going to tell you how it became to be and why it's so important. And do remember that I always tell you that a lot of our businesses and most businesses are here to solve problems. And she's going to let you know what is that problem that her business solve. And we are going to find out just this statement is to be true for any business that is ever invented and, and is ever launched or ever brought to light. So Gogi, we want to hear all about the story. But first of all, we want to hear a little bit about, um, tell us, how did you get started? Tell us all about this beginning of the journey with your business. Yes. Well, first of all, thank you very much, Sandy. Appreciate being on your show. Um, How it started. I have to really preface that it started um, with something that happened with my mom Um, several years back. uh, She was almost a victim of a phone scam. Wow. um, The scammer actually came to her front door. Uh, luckily, you know, she was not harmed in any way, but mm-hmm. it did uh, sound the alarm for myself and my siblings. And uh, we just went in search of, uh, you know, a device or a service that could protect her. Um, there are things out there, but the protection that they were um, sh- giving was just not enough for me. I, I was looking for a barrier. And that's how Answer Sure came about. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, with that being said, too, um, tell us a little bit about, you know, the process. Um, Would it, you know, did it take you a long time to get this particular business up and running? Um, You know, tell us your journey about that, too, as well, before you get into the meat and potatoes about all of the, you know, the great things that the, the problems that you are solving and so many that's listening need this. We need, we all need this. Okay, go ahead. Well, thank you. Um, well, I, I can say once I, I decided that I was going to create something to protect my mom, because that was the, that was the, the impetus of it all. Mm-hmm. Um, I uh, just thought of ways that it, I could do that. And in creating Answer Sure, you know, there was a lot of trial and error mm-hmm. uh, until I found the process that I liked um, and that met what I was looking for. Um, starting the business, you know, I, I didn't, to be very honest, Sandy, I didn't go create this to start a business. I created this to protect my mom. So right. what, after, it, you know, the process Um, was developed and was doing what I wanted it to do, which was um, protecting my mom from these phone scams and being a barrier. Um, It actually was my husband that said, I don't think you're the only daughter or child or human being that's looking to protect a loved one in this manner from phone Mm -hmm. scams. Um, So that, and that was nearly a year and a half after um, the service was on my mom's phone. Um, that took it to another level, you know, thinking of developing this idea, this service that we've created into a business. Mm. Um, I can tell you, um, I learned a lot um, about moving an idea, even a process to branding and you know, learning more about marketing, which I'm still learning about. Um, There's a lot of facets to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yes. 
And definitely it is being and being a business, you know, business strategist and business coach as myself. I do know. And a lot of people don't understand, you know, it, it is a lot of um, moving parts. You eat an elephant in this business one bite at a time. You take you take it on slowly, but surely, but you make it happen. And um, you you really, really got to know who you're targeting because you can't sell to everyone. So have you pinned down and narrowed down the people that you are be serving in this? And have you got, you know, the, for the, those that you've told about the business and they know about your business, do they think that this is a very, very needed, um, you know, service for them? I'm sure they do, but. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, targeting the business. Now, AnswerShore is a phone scam prevention service. And we have the means of um, creating this barrier on both landline phones, which they still exist. Yes. We yes. have an app. We have an app for cell phones. With that um, being said, when I first started the company, when we, not my mom, just starting the company and seeing how this service could be, add value to people's lives. I was looking for um, children, you know, in their 40s, 50s year olds, uh, adults with parents um, that are living on their own or, you know, assisted living. Mm -hmm. I was also looking at, at older people. Mm -hmm. um, you know, mm -hmm. uh, people are living longer and more vibrant lives now. Um, you know, they say that the, the 70, 70 is the new 50 or 80. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so, you know, it's a market there. And they, yeah. and they, um, they purchase and, and they know about the, the scams and they know that they are targets. Mm -hmm. Those were the first two um, markets that I went towards. However, once we were, um, you know, advertising and marketing, I learned that, you know, answer sure can be for anyone. I have, yeah. I have people in their thirties. I have uh, parents with young kids that have cell phones that are looking at the app because they don't want their kids to, um, they don't want people to have access to their children's cell phone and calling them. Yes. Um, yes. And with the app, it helps restrict that. So the markets are, are growing. Let's put it that way. Um, yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it's definitely um a lot more than i went in thinking about really yeah well that's awesome that is so that's that's wonderful so you know and um and a lot of times it, it is like you said earlier you said that your business wasn't you you didn't look at it to start a business you were protecting your mom and her you know and the things that she had to endure or you know that she went through so you wanted to make sure and your husband told you that it could, you know, it could be viable for a business. And I think that's great because the idea is is so needed. And I think you're going to help and save a lot of lives. Did you ever think about it that way? Because that's pretty much. You know, Sandy, I have to say with, with what happened to my mom, yes. My mm -hmm. whole premise is to add value and to protect people. Mm -hmm. that, yes. that man at my mother's door, you know, we don't know what could have happened. Yes. You know, um, we're just very fortunate, very blessed that she's fine mm -hmm. and nothing, yeah. you know, happened uh, in any way to her. There was no uh -huh. harm, but that's too close for comfort. And that's happening in this country every day. Yes. To thousands of people. Yes. Um, well, would, you, would you elaborate on it to the audience and just let them know exactly what, you know, to help them in this situation? Absolutely. I mean, phone scams now is so they're so prevalent. Um, your cell phone, your landlines, they are access points. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, they, they're as vulnerable as a window or your front door. Mm -hmm. I've always thought about it in the years that um, we've had the business. I equated to having a home security system. You know, you protect your home. You can protect the access points. Your mm. phone is an access point. And mm. with answer sure, we try to limit the access people have to ringing your phone. Um, scammers, you know, they're targeting everyone. We're all vulnerable. However, there are definitely two age groups. 
the older, uh, you know, retiree mm -hmm. um, for that. You know, the reason why is because retirees, they've saved their money. They, they're getting a pension for the most part, Social Security. Mm -hmm. um, they have been the big savers. That generation has been the big savers in our country. And scammers know that too as well. Yeah, because they are the big, big, yeah. They, they've done their research and they know. <laughs> they, know. <laughs> they got more disposable income. That's um, right. <laughs> and you know what? Not even disposable, but they know that they're getting a monthly check most likely. You know, mm -hmm. even yes, if that sir. monthly check is not a big one, these scammers still go after and destroy people's lives. And it's not the victim only that gets destroyed on multiple layers financially, but also physiologically, also mentally. They start questioning everything and and they think of themselves as less than. They think of themselves, how could this have happened to me? How could I have fallen for this? They're victims. Mm -hmm. Right. Which the scammer is destroying the victim on multiple layers. And then you think of the victim's families. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it goes beyond that. Mm -hmm. So with Answer Shore, we're just trying to protect as many people as we can. And we are trying to get the word out about the service. And, um, you know, that that's our main function right now. Yeah. 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 Well, I, um, I'm glad that you came up with this idea. And also, do you actually, do you think with the, the business, to kind of get into the can can you go a little bit deeper into the you know the services and how it works and you know the um app I'm thinking you have an app service that you're subscribing to to help this all kind of come into play could you yes okay answer sure is um like I said we have a uh, landline service has two plans it has a, a automated plan and it has a representative plan representative plan is just what it says, a human being will pick up your phone and will um, ask for a password. The client um, would create their own password, so it's very individualized. And the caller must know that password in order for the call to be released to our client. Okay, so there is there's a there's a middle, it's almost like there's a middleman between someone picking up yes. the phone and calling your phone. Okay. Yes. Um, with AnswerSure, your phone is, I'm talking about the landline service, will not ring um, for every call. It will only ring for the call, the callers that know your password. So when our client's phone rings, there is not hesitation or fear because they know the call has been vetted. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the call is really for them. With our app service for mobile devices, iOS and Android, we use a dynamic list of millions, millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions, known scam numbers, scam, mm -hmm. robo, and spam numbers, known numbers, okay? okay? Okay. Those numbers will not ring your cell phone. Now, with the cell phone, Numbers are infinite, as we know, and unfortunately, the way a lot of these scammers are um, perpetrating this crime, they're out of the United States, and they're calling and almost spooling a number, meaning they're calling from a different country, but hmm. the number on your caller ID looks like it's a local number. Wow, yes. And that that happens quite a bit. Exactly. So because of that, you're not dealing with just our, you know, 10 digit U.S. numbers. You're dealing also with an international number that we don't know what, how many digits may be in that number. I mm -hmm. say all of this to explain that, yes, those millions of phone numbers will not ring your cell phone. However, there may be a scam number or a spam or robo number that gets through. We mm -hmm. ask our clients to send us those numbers so we can add it to right. our list. So it's a living list. 
So okay. it's always constantly growing. Gotcha. Yes. Yes. Um, so that's with the cell phones. And with if you have an Android phone, you can actually um, have the phone only accept calls from people on your contact list. Oh, wow. Yes. That's, awesome. that's, that's the reaction I usually get when I say that. I'm not an Android user, but I have to say uh, Apple iOS does not allow us to do that. They're, they're much more stringent, but mm. um, for Android users, they can do that. Um, and that's very appealing to some people. Mm. So, mm -hmm. Those are the yeah. ways that we try to, we try to protect people yeah. these, these callers, these crimes. Because yeah. I think that too, the um, older people are more vulnerable to talk to. And then, you know, you have these fast talking salesmen, people that, yeah, and get on the phone with them. And sometimes, and make yeah they they actually think that it's legitimate and i think the reason why that is that because i think years ago you know people would call more so and you know before the scam got a really i think that to me i think that's why they are a target because people used to call and they were more legitimate so they're thinking that even today that this thing is still the same as it used to be when they were much younger that's what i'm thinking because you know, yes, but now you have scam that that's a full time job for some right. people in certain countries. Yes, it's 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 insane. And and the thing that's really sad is that I mean, there's no end in sight. Mm. There are various agencies in the United States that calls scams, in all types of scams. I'm dealing with phone scams, but in all types of scams that this crime. Is the crime of the 21st century. Wow. It's not going away. And that's why with AnswerSure, we believe in prevention. If we can get in front of it, I'd rather prevent than to re remedy uh, someone being hurt. Right. Prevent, exactly. prevent the injury. Yes, preventive. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That, that, I mean, that's how I see it. And, um, you know, that's what AnswerSure, that's our aim. Yes. So give us, can you give us your contact information for, so they can, you know, if any, the guests want to find out more about the business? Sure. Sure. Our website is www.answer, A-N-S-W-E-R, sure, S-U-R-E, dot com. And uh, I also have uh, email contact at answersure.com as well. Okay. Okay. Yes. And, um, I hope, and I really hope that, and now is this just for service in the United States, right? For, it's just for now. For, yes. for now. For now. For I now mean, for those lines in the United States. <laughs> My future goals is that this would be international, but that's, that's years down the road. Yes. Um, but for now, yes, it's within the okay. United States. Okay. Okay. And do you know the, um, how, what is the, um, stats on, how much this is happening, you know, all over the, just with that, along with the elderly, do you under, do you know those numbers by any chance? Well, I know where I am in um, New Jersey and 2021, there was over 50,000. This is 50,000. Um, how should I say that the victims actually called the police? Wow. And Scamming victims, and this crime is one of the most underreported crimes in the country for many reasons. And at the top of the list, people are embarrassed. Okay. Wow. So yes, yes. when I say 50,000 and people may shrug, but that's of that, that's, that's percentage. So, I mean, you know, I, I'm not one to, I'm an optimist, but I'm also a realist. If there's 50,000 reported, there's at right. least there's at least another half of that, if not another 50,000 that's not being reported. Exactly. Yes. In one year. And unfortunately, with, you know, with older people, they don't have the time to be making up the loss of 20,000, 10,000, 50,000, sometimes six figures. They This is their savings. They've done, you know, they've done everything right in their life, they're retired, this is what they're going to live on. And these criminals 
come and, and very honestly destroy it, destroy it. There are, um, I know that there are um, uh, cases, unfortunately, where there have been older citizens that have killed themselves. They've committed suicide. Oh, wow. After, after ha being scammed out of mm. their savings. Okay. It's, it's, it's horrific. It's horrific. Mm. Wow. Wow. Because really, it'll be hard for them to make more, you know, and I guess they feel they don't have anything to live for. That is terrible. That's they don't have terrible. the time. They've lived they've all their mm -hmm. lives and they've acquired mm -hmm. a certain amount to live out their retirement years in peace and, and with some sense of stability. And then that's stolen, you know, and in the ways that it's stolen, Sandy, it's insidious. There are some of these scammers that they call people for months. They befriend them for months and they're getting bits and pieces of information. Mm. And you know, the 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 person, the, the call recipient, the recipient of the call, the innocent person, the victim, um, starts trusting them. And uh, you know, it's just it's just very, very sad. Very, very sad. That's yeah. why I believe in prevention. Yes, that that is. Yes. Well, I am glad that you, you know, I'm glad that your mother is fine and safe, but could, you know, well, it, it's just, this is just your, your calling to be in the, one of the ones to help with this because I didn't realize it was to this capacity. I didn't realize those numbers were so great. I knew that scams would call, you know, but a lot of times, even when they try to call my mom, I just tell her, hang up the phone. Don't even, you know, and they, they talk like, they're conversational, you know? Yes. Yeah. Yes. They do that to disarm. Mm -hmm. them. They do that to, to make them feel at ease. At mm -hmm. least, that's a, you know, again, there are many kinds of scams. This is one kind of scam. Mm -hmm. you know? um, there are others that use the sense of urgency and fear. Right. To, to get their potential victim to do whatever they want, you know, and send them money. It's um the thing is it is a concentrated effort. These criminals know what they're doing and how they're doing it and to whom they're doing it to. They mm -hmm. know how to manipulate um not just older individuals. I'm telling you there are people much younger that have been scammed. Um but my mission has become to try and help as many people, period, but particularly older people from yeah. becoming victims. Okay. Okay. And answer sure. Yes. It will be, that will be one of the solutions. And we thank you for, um, we thank you for that. We thank you for for coming up with a, such a needed business and um, how long, um, let us know how long have you been, you know, have the company been established? Yes. We got uh, our LLC in 2021. Okay. Okay. Um, the, uh, what happened with my mom, that incident was in uh, mid 2019. And um, I actually created Answer Shore in 2020. Okay, during the pandemic, yeah, during that area, your era. Yeah. Yes, yes. Well, that is, yes. Thank God that you, and thank God her relative was there to, you know, be. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm. I said we, we, we were blessed that day. Yeah. You know? Yes. Mm, you were. Yes, you were. Yeah. So is there anything else that you would like to share with us about the, you know, about the, um, the business or anything that you think that the audience in, you know, even in them starting something that's, you know, they may, well, sometimes we find a solution to certain problems and um, we don't realize that it's, it's needed for, like your husband said, for a whole lot more people than just your mom. That's the truth. It's the truth. If I could say anything, it would be, um, you know, finding a solution for anything that is an issue um, 
I think is always a good thing. Yes. Oh, uh, right. I that think the word. Yes. I really, I really do. I think finding a solution because then it, the business is more than me. The business is more than just answer sure. The business becomes, I'm speaking for myself, the business becomes a mission. It yes. becomes passion. Um, I'm a believer. It's never wrong to do the right thing. And um, protecting people that are, are literally being, um, you know, being uh, uh, preyed upon, mm -hmm. E-R-E-Y, preyed upon, um, is something that uh, has become a mission. I mean, I, I, I just think, you know, it's outrageous that... Um, this is still, this is happening to the extent that it is. Yes. Yes. With all of the advanced technology and all of the, you would think that they could crack down on these people or do, well, do you know of any, um, are they really, I know before you came up with answer sure, and I'm sure you've done your research on it, but is it, is it any, I have a lot of them been getting called or is it, is it hard to just, I know they're from other countries, but is it, you know, are they really getting discovered and prosecuted for the most part? Well, I have to say, um, I believe they are. There's more happening now. Prosecuted. That's a whole other thing. We know that there are certain countries that definitely uh, have more of these kind of uh, scam um, call rings, you know. Right. But I'm going to tell you, yes, there are other there are other countries that have a lot of it, but there are scammers right here in the United States. Oh yeah, they are, they're right here. Um, but it is definitely one of those crimes that not only are they underreported, but um, the rate of prosecution mm -hmm. and the rate of retrieval of the funds that have been stolen wow. are very small. Oh, yeah, yeah. they're very small. So that's why, you know, again, I, I know I keep I keep using the word prevention, but try that, you know, my my thing is to try to get in front of it. Yes. Oh, I, I agree. Yes. That's the best way. Best way to go. Um, it's, it's, yes. Yeah. Best way. Well, I think that you. Yeah. Well, I think that things will be, be a little bit different. Yeah. Because of answer. Sure. I really do. Yes. Thank you. Thank yes, you. I, I hope so. I hope so. Yes. Because yes. it, you know, the awareness and you keep on marketing the business and it it will surely it will surely grow and putting the word out there and it, and letting people know the importance of we needing this. So yes. Well, thank you um for this interview and my audience. I want you to go to um, go give your ed your e your um, website address again, and also the email address. And people, please, this could be your parents, this could be your loved one, this could be your young child, this could be somebody that come into a lot of money. This could be anybody. This could even be you. So, please, let's just really consider this. And I mean, we all get these telemarketing calls and robocalls and things like that. So. This might be a service that can help us and definitely help our elderly, our loved ones. So, yeah, we have a lot of baby boomers that are, you know, have retired now. I think it's the it's almost the the, the book, the book, the birth, the boom of the bur the bursting, you know, it's bursting out of the ceilings of the retiree baby boomers. Now, I was reading that somewhere during the Christmas holidays that there's more people now that are baby boomers than it has ever been before. That's yes. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Absolutely. Well, my website is uh, answersure.com. That's A N S W E R S U R E.com. And my uh, email is contact at answersure.com. Yes. Okay. All righty. Well, you have it, everyone. And please take this video and take the podcast and share it all over because this is something that we cannot sleep on. We have to pay attention to things like this. Okay. Thank you so much. And um, Gogi, we appreciate you for being obedient and taking it further than just protecting your mother. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. All righty. Okay. 
All right, guys. See you next time on the podcast. This is the Push to Dream podcast. Take care.